الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد فيوز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا ويلكم تو أنذا إديشن أوف يو نو أنذا يو نو إديشن أوف أوا ديسكشن أون ذا بوك تجويد أو أون ذا سبجكت تجويد أن إن شاء الله إن ذيس إديشن وي ويل بي ديسكاسين يو نو نونو ساكينة أن تنوين نونو ساكينة إيز or nunu sakina we can say refers to the voiless letter it refers to voiless letter nun the arabic letters are 28 and one of those letters is called nun and whenever the letter nun is having school we call it in arabic or we refer to it in arabic as nunu sakina and also like we said we'll be discussing nunu sakina or rules governing nunu sakina and tanween so and tanween refers to uh, a voiceless letter noon which is voiced but not uh, physically written in the course of our you know pronunciation of words uh, and uh, one important thing we need to know about uh, tanween is that tanween only occurs in words that stands or serves as noun so uh, in essence inshallah we'll be looking at the rules governing Voiless letter noon and tanween. They come to have the same rule because in terms of sound, they are the same thing. That is, they all sound as nunu sakina. For instance, the word Muhammadun. You know, when, when you pronounce it, it ends with noon. That is, end sound. Like also noon, you know, an, for instance, ali fatha'a and noon skun, you have an and you have muhammad. Dun. So it is, you know, basically, Tanween and Nunu Sakina in terms of sound, they are the same. But in terms of writing, okay, they differ because Nunu Sakina is clearly written while Tanween is only indicated by those uh, double vowels, that is Fathatan, Kasratan, and Dhammatan. And another, another difference is that Tanween only occurs in words that stands as name or noun while nunu sakina can come in anything so it is not restricted to name or you know uh, verb or whatever so inshallah as i said we'll be looking at rules governing the two of them according to scholars of tajweed nunu sakina and tanween has four rules governing them Nunu Sakina and Tanween has four rules governing them. Those rules are Al Ishar or Ishar, we have Ishar, we have Idgham, we have Iqlab, and lastly we have Ikhfa. That is, the rules governing Nunu Sakina and Tanween are three Ishar, otherwise known as manifestation in English. Idram, otherwise known as assimilation in English. Iqlab, otherwise known as alteration in English. And Ikhfa, otherwise known as concealment. Inshallah, we will come to, you know, see what we mean by all these, you know, four names or those four rules. And those four rules are also mentioned by the scholar, you know, who wrote Tuhfat uh, al-Atfal, you know, uh, Imam uh, uh, yeah, Suleiman al-Jamzuri, he was saying in his, you know, uh, popular poem that لِنُّونِ إِن تَسْكُنْ وَلِتَّنْوِينِ أَرْبَوَ أَحْكَامٍ فَخُذْ تَبِيِّنِ He said, لِنُّونِ إِن تَسْكُنْ وَلِتَّنْوِينِ He said, for noon when it has skun, and also for tanween, أَرْبَوَ أَحْكَامٍ فَخُذْ تَبِيِّنِ They are, you know, there are four rules, take my explanation. And, you know, the poem is a little bit uh, lengthy. He mentioned each of those rules one by one. But like I said, basically, we have four rules. Ishar, Idram, Iqlab, and uh, Ikhfa. In English, manifestation, assimilation, alteration, and concealment. So we will, inshallah, start by looking at 
the first of those rules, and that is al-ishar, or ishar, or manifestation. Mm -hmm.